G'day guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we do some character animation in Blender. Now this is a little character I made and rigged and I'm going to be putting him in the link below so you can go to BlendSwap and you can download this um, character for absolute free and you're free to use it in whatever projects you want whether it's commercial or non-commercial as long as you just give credit. So go ahead, download it, and we'll open up the file and we'll get started with the, the animation. We're going to be doing a little bit of a walk cycle today. So it's going to be quite a quite a fun little tutorial. Um, it might be a little bit over the heads of some people who are really new to Blender. So you should have at least a basic understanding of um, how Blender works before you try and follow this tutorial. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So once you've opened up the Blender file, you'll see here we have our default view, but we're not gonna be working in our default view. So first thing we're gonna do is go to our animation view. So we're gonna click on our default tab here, and we're gonna go down and enable animation. And we're gonna see here is our little guy we're gonna be working on, and this is our animation view setup. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna now enable our rig layer. So holding in shift, click on the second tab here. So now we can see our um, layer with the rig on it is now visible. And all we have now seen is our character and our rig. And this is just gonna make it easier for us to animate. Now to make things easier for you guys, I am just going to enable my screencast keys over here. So you can see what I am pressing, all the keys. And I will be do, I will do my best to try and explain this clearly and go step by step. So if you do miss anything, and you don't understand something, just ask in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help out. So what we're gonna do is go to our right orthographic view. So to do that, the shortcuts would be five on your number pad to go in and out of orthographic view if it's not already in orthographic. So make sure we have orthographic and then hit the free key on your number pad. And that's just gonna take us into the right orthographic view. And that's kind of where we want to be. Cool. Now what we're gonna do is select the some of the first bones we're gonna start editing here on the timeline. So let's have a look at this. I think we're gonna start with this foot stepping in, okay? So to add keyframes here on our, our, our dope sheet, we have to enable a few things quickly. So we're gonna hit the little tab here and this is gonna enable our automatic keyframe insertion. And then we're gonna go over here and we're going to go up to which is a lock, ro rotation, and scale. So this stands for location, rotation, and scale. So we're going to enable that. And we're going to make sure we are on frame zero. Okay, so make sure we're on frame zero. And we're going to make the length of our animation about, let me think, 29 frames. And we're going to go back to frame zero. Make sure we're on frame zero. With our um, foot controller here selected in our right orthographic view we're going to move this foot forward like so and then rotate it up to about this angle and then we're going to grab this hip bone here and we're just going to bring it down so we're going to be working with these two here just bring it down and this is the, the, right, um, the left foot coming out like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this um, foot here and we're gonna move it back like so to about here, okay? And then we're gonna go to our front orthographic view. We're gonna grab this hand IK, we're gonna turn it and bring it down, grab this elbow controller Bring it here, grab the hand IK, and we're gonna bring the hand back to about here. So we don't wanna rush this, we're just gonna take our time, just step by step. So we now have this, as the front foot comes forward, we have this hand kind of going back. We kind of wanna rotate it in just like this. And we can kind of come in here and add finer details later on, but for now, we're just gonna do it roughly, okay, just like that. Then with this con um, hand controller selected, we're gonna go Control C, then Control Shift V, 
And what that's going to do, it's going to paste the opposite um, hand in the exact same pose. But what we're going to do now is we're going to select this one. And now right orthographic view, we're just going to make, move it forward to about here. And we're just going to rotate the hand like that. So if we go to our left orthographic, we can just kind of tilt this hand forward a little bit as it's swinging forward. So you can see here, this one is going to be opposite to this leg here. Okay, so as one foot goes forward, the hand goes back and vice versa, the other way around as well. So this is going to be our first pose. And like I said, we'll refine it a little bit later on. So I'm going to press A to select all my keys here. We're still on frame one and I'm just going to press I and that's going to automatically insert um, a position for all of these bones. And you can see it said it added um, our bones up here, like all the keyframes for them. So we now know that this is all ready to go. So if I hit here, we can see all the, the bones here and the keyframes that they have. And we're now going to go over to frame five. So over here, we're going to type in five. So Blender is being a little bit slow. So let's go over here, just type in five. So we're now on frame five. And we're now going to make our next pose. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring this foot, this one here, in. And this one is going to go more back. So bringing this one in like this, we're going to rotate it. And don't worry about this bend here. We're going to lift the hip up in a second. And then this foot here, we're going to grab this little rotation um, bone here this one at the back, and we're just going to rotate the foot up, grab our IK, and still move it back a little bit, and then grab our hip here, and we're just going to move it up. Okay, so I do apologize if this is a little bit all over the place. I am just trying to take my time and to show you guys how to do this. So we want a pose like that, so this um, left foot here is kind of almost in the middle and this foot here is more tilted up and is moved back a slight little bit. So if we grab this um, roll bone here, just tilt it up a little bit more and with our arms we're going to bring them in now because we're kind of coming more towards a middle pose as both the legs come together to meet. So we're going to grab this hand here, bring it in rotate it forward a little bit, then go to the left orthographic, select our, our right hand and bring it in to about the same position and also rotate the hand so it's like this. And the reason we rotate the hand is so we get that natural swinging so sensation so the arm doesn't look so stiff. But um, like I said, we'll add little nuances and details a bit later on. So back to our right orthographic, we should have a pose that looks like this. So we can see now he, he the leg leans in, the arms come together. So back to frame, frame five, we're just gonna select all the bones by pressing A and then hit I and, to, and we insert all the keyframes. And we can now go to um, frame 10. So over here, just wait for this to finish. We can go to frame 10 and on frame 10, we're going to um, do something a little bit different here. We're going to kind of move this leg up a little bit more and get rid of some of that elbow roll. So we're going to roll it back like this by selecting that bone, select the foot IK, rotate it like so, and kind of just get the foot into this position like this. And we're going to lift the hip a little bit higher. So the leg, this leg here is completely straight and we're gonna move it back just a little bit more like so. Okay, so if we quickly have a look at that, we'll have that, we should have something like that. Okay, so maybe bring this in a little bit more. If we go to our right orthographic, just like that. Okay, so we have something like that. And then what we're gonna do is because this um, leg is now gonna move back, we're gonna bring this arm forward just a little bit like so, and just add a little bit of a tilt in the hand like so. Then we're gonna select the opposite hand, that one, and just move it back 
to kind of mirror this in the opposite direction. Just about there. So if we quickly test this, we should have something like that. Okay, that's looking quite natural. Um, yeah, for now that is good enough. We will refine it a little bit later. Um, I'm just going to grab this elbow, just this controller, bring it up a little bit more so we get a bend in the elbow. And the same thing on the left. That's a little bit too straight. There we go. Just make it look nice and organic. Go to the front view. <coughs> Bring these elbows in just a little bit. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Cool, okay. So now, back to frame 10, select everything, and just press I, <coughs> and it should automatically insert all of those keyframes. And we're now gonna go, as you've probably already guessed, to frame 15, because we're moving up in increments of five. So going to frame 15, <coughs> excuse me, we're now going to add the next steps here. So what we're gonna do is grab our, um, our right leg here, or left leg, I should say. This can get quite confusing. So move it back, bring down the hip like this. Let's bring back this foot to about here. Grab the, the tilt, the ankle tilt bone here, rotate it up a bit. Grab the opposite leg now, the IK controller, bring it forward, rotate it like so, and bring it down to about here. Grab the hip and bring it up, just like that. So we should have something where we have this leg coming back more, and just a slight tilt in this foot here, the, the left foot, and with our right foot here, it should be tilted up quite a bit, and but be nice and straight. So something like that. Maybe bring the hip down just a little bit so we get a tiny little bit of bend in these legs. And with our hands, okay, we're just gonna kind of move it forward just a little bit because it kind of slows down as it's coming out here. And move this one back just a little bit. So let's have a look at that. Yep, okay, so it's gonna be pretty much our middle, our middle um, part of the animation before it all inverts and flips back and, and copies itself. I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. So just having a look at that, making sure it feels natural. And for now, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna press I, um, A to select everything, then hit I to insert these keyframes. And now here's where the fun bit begins. So if we now um, select, um, go to frame five, we hold in shift, alt, and right click to select all of these frames here, okay? Actually, I don't think we have to select them. Just select all the bones on frame five. Make sure we're on frame five, select all the bones, then go control C, okay? So once you've done that, then go to frame 20, and then we're gonna go control shift V, okay? So what we now have is a flip of this one here. So these two are now mirrors of each other, okay? Like that. And what we're gonna do then is go to frame 10, okay? Once we're on frame 10, we're gonna also make sure all the bones are selected. We're gonna go Control C, then we're gonna go to frame 25, then we're gonna go Control Shift V. And that's gonna flip, make an opposite copy of frame 10. So frame 10, and frame 25 are gonna be mirrors of each other. So if we have a look at that. And the reason we do it like this, it's just gonna save us a lot of animation time. And then finally, what we're gonna have on frame 30 is our first frame. So go to our first um, frame, make sure all the bones are selected, go control C, then go to um, frame 30. And this time, instead of going control shift um, V, we're gonna just go control V. And these two are now gonna be the exact same. And you can no you're gonna notice here in on our timeline that um, our, our end frame is 29, but yet we placed a keyframe on frame 30. And we do that so this thing can loop. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a second. So let's just um, play it and you'll see what I mean. So if I play it, we can see we have a nice natural looking animation. But if I were to make this frame 30, 
and have the exact same amount of frames as we have keyframes, we're going to have this funny little glitch going on. So there's a little bit of a hop there. So we always make it one frame less. And in future tutorials, I will explain more how this all works and how we can get nice seamless animations. But for now, let's just um, select our character. Okay, go to our, our modifiers here. And I'm just going to disable the subsurface modifier so it, it's a little bit faster because at the moment this is slow. So there we go. We can see now we have a nice animation. And the head and stuff is looking quite stiff. So we're going to now just come in here and add a little bit of nuance to things. So what I'm going to do is on frame 5, I think what I'm going to do is tilt the head just back a little bit. So as he's moving, the head tilts back. So he, the head goes back just a little bit. And then at frame 10, just a tiny little bit more. And then in the middle, it kind of comes back forward a little bit over here just forward a little bit and then over here just a tiny little bit more so we have kind of like this little bit of a bob in the head okay so that doesn't look quite too natural um, so we bring that forward a little bit yeah so we we can kind of add all these little nuances just to make it look more organic and natural and um, if we go to frame 5 again, we can kind of, as his, his leg um, is coming forward there, we can kind of tilt the hip just a little bit, like so. And then go to frame 20 and tilt the head, hip just a little bit like this. So if we play it now, we kind of get that little bit of a natural hip swing as well. And this is pretty much just a process of coming in here, um, looking at what looks a little bit too robotic, too stiff, and just kind of adding little details and making it look more organic and natural. And that's kind of what animation is. We start with um, simple simple positions, and then we come in and we add in more frames and um, more little details. And um, yeah, so have a look at some animation um, videos online, um, some walk cycle references of um, images of peop videos of people walking. So you guys can see um, how it all works. And this tutorial wasn't really so much a tutorial as how to um, com how to um, do a uh, walk cycle 100%, but I'm just introducing some of the principles of how we insert keyframes and um, you know, work with characters and rigs in Blender. So I will be doing some more in-depth tutorials on these kind of things in the future. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial, um, that you've learned something. Once again, if I've moved too fast or you didn't understand something, please feel free to ask. Um, hit like and subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other things. Um, check out the Facebook group. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.